you'll never find. No matter where you search, someone who understands you just the way I do. Who am I kidding? Here at the Silver 5150 channel, we don't understand women. And a lot of us guys don't understand women. And I've heard some women say, we don't understand women. But the thing is, they just beautify the area wherever they go. They take care of things. They take care of people. They are the nurturers. They are our better halves. They take care of a lot of things we don't even realize they take care of and stuff. And it's very important that we take care of them. And for the most part, you see a woman and you think, wow, what an elegant creature. And man, she really seems to have it all together. I mean, look at her. Calm, composed, regal. There couldn't possibly be any kind of turmoil involved with something as pleasant as that. But on the inside, there's a problem. I don't think, in my opinion, that women have the ability to shut their brains off. I think they're constantly, constantly thinking all the time. You know, um, trying to figure out problems, what to do in the future. They've got, you know, uh, appointments and engagements and get-togethers and gatherings, you know, because they're social creatures. They're going to do that stuff. they they got their jobs. they got the kids. They've got, you know, other responsibilities, possibly even parents in the mix. You know, they got to take care of them. And, you know, they got events coming up, you know, with the holidays and all that stuff. And so what you get on the inside is actually something more like this where their brains are on fire. In fact, they're on fire so often, so much, that they overheat sometimes. And, you know, they might lose their temper or what have you. But, just know on the outside, they are this. Beautiful unicorns. These creatures, they're out trying to basically stabilize the world that us boys like to tear up. They love to get together and hang out. Talk about things, make plans, have fun. But mostly they're talking about us, us boys. <laughs> we know this, but, you know, we let them. And then um, later on you ask, hey, were you talking about us? Nope, couldn't care less. You guys stink. Boys stink. So we were talking about, um, I don't know, shoes. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, have a little fun with the genders there and stuff. But you know what, man? I'm going to tell you, in um, Avengers Endgame, there was one scene... Where Iron Rescue, who was the armored um, wife of Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, uh, in the pink armor, he was in the Iron Man armor. They were, at one point, back-to-back -back in the battle. And they were, I mean, basically taking down Thanos' forces, covering each other's backs, which I thought was the epitome of the movie. To me, that epitomized, you know, what our relationship should be like. I don't know where this, you know, this nouveau... Uh, feminism is going, you know, to where everything has to be woke, and in every case you have to point out faults with, I guess, the patriarchy, and, you know, uh, men are either weak, stupid, or bad, yeah, and women are always strong, brave, and, and brilliant. And uh, that's not to say that it's the case, that, that that isn't the case. I mean, that is the case, and I know a lot of women that are like that, but uh, us men, we have our, uh, we have our values too, um, to contribute. Um, we're just very different from each other, like I said. To that effect, we have the uh, Germania allegory, which I think you have Germania there on, on the left. <whistles> and then, oh no, Germania's on the right, and then Britannia's on the left. <whistles> Man, I mean, I think they kind of overdid it with how curvy these uh, allegories are. We have our own in the uh, um, Liberty on the American Silver Eagle. And then uh, I believe the Libertad has um, a winged beauty on it and there's some other ones out there but uh i'm liking where they're going with these allegory series um it's like i said it's um actually and it's by the way it's not a coin it's actually a round um called germania it doesn't have a dollar denomination on it and i don't know what that is in the bottom oh, i think it says five marks so it's it's you know hearkening to the old german um deutschmark i guess and called germania and there'll be a series of these coins coming out um i don't know exactly who's minting them but I guess it's the Germanian Mint. I don't know. Somebody will correct me on that in the comments. But we're highlighting this coin tonight. And then, of course, there is the beautiful, oh my goodness, Chinese Unicorn. 
which is a very, very gorgeous coin. This thing is, I think, Cameo. You know, they say it's a proof finish. I think this coin is Cameo, and it carries a Cameo price. I think it retails for about 35 bucks. But it's if you look at it, you know, with the roses and the unicorn, and the, oh, gosh, it's just, it's absolutely delectable. It is a very, very gorgeous coin. And these are also available at the standard um, dealers, you know, Atmex, Jam Bullion, Provenant, you know, Money Metals, if you want to get with these guys. And um, then uh, I think uh, there is, what's that other outfit called? Um, oh, Silver Gold Bull. Okay. So there's a handful of uh, dealers for you. And here on the coin, the unicorn coin, you can actually see it says unicorn in parentheses. In case you can't read what's up there, I can't. I can read the dates. And this is basically 94 to 2019. It's a 25-year anniversary um, Chinese unicorn coin, which I think was probably some sort of trade dollar back in the day. But as a new design, it is absolutely stunning and destined to go far. Same thing with the allegories. Allegories are going to be a good series. And I think these things retail for about 28 when they first came out. And they're already up in the mid-40s. So that's just, you know, how premiums work on coins that are very desirable. These are part of what I call the new collectibles. You know, you have the old collectibles like the Morgans and stuff. And then there's some, uh, you know, pretty fancy, uh, you know, uh, bars out there. JM Bars, Englehart. You know, all the classic stuff, that that's, has some um, semi-numismatic collectability to it. But these new collectibles that are coming out um, from some of these mints, man, check them out. Check them out and uh, see what you like and start buying some of the stuff you like. And watch the value appreciate. Watch these things appreciate. But as it goes with relationships, the ladies and the guys and stuff, ladies, we appreciate you. We appreciate you and we appreciate the changes you're going through. We kind of hope you'll come back to us someday. But until then, we're just going to put our helmets on and hunker down behind the bunker until all the artillery shells are done flying. Love you, but we're going to stay where it's safe. <laughs> and we'll talk to you next time.